Hey folks, my name is Bachelor. Welcome to the video. We're going to be starting a YouTube series on Tarkov where I try to explain to you folks a bit more about the way of the rat. Why it's not a dirty place now, why it's actually the route to a higher level of existence. And the idea is I teach you some of the tricks and tips I've got and basically give you the best way to ruin a Chad's day. And basically that's what it's all about. <laughs> so, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe below, share with a friend, especially if you want to, you know, annoy a couple of chads, and we'll get straight into it. This first video is going to be looking at the new Woods map. Now, Woods is one of my favourite maps of all time, love it, and the new expansion has made it even better. So we're going to go through a bit of details where to go, what to look for, possibly where to avoid, and the best things to do to kill chads and get out with fat loot. Let's crack on. So, this is Woods. It's a huge map, absolutely massive now. They've done a great job expanding it, um, and there's so much hugely valuable loot in here that it is well worth your time. Some players stay away from it. Uh, I can understand why. There's some very difficult missions in here. Um, not least trying to kill scabs with a shotgun. But if you learn where to go, learn what you need to be looking at, honestly, folks, you're going to love it. So let's kind of break down the map and show you what's going on. So if we keep looking at the map, the thing you need to be aware of is prior to the current wipe that was the map this pink section down here everything above it is new so I mean this on itself is still quite big it's a quite a big map um, lots of open spaces around here lots of wooded areas and you get Sturman and his guards kind of loitering in this area in the middle who are very, very tough to beat if you don't know what you're doing. But the rat way kind of leans towards helping you with that. Um, so we're going to break the map into two. We're going to go through the starting area first, the new area second, and then we'll see where we go. So, this is the original area. Now I've kind of zoomed in a bit, so it, it, you know it's not quite right because we've lost a bit of ZB14 and scav halves, but don't worry too much about that. I can explain that in a minute. And it is, even this area is a brilliant map. Now, a few things you want to be aware of. You have this little building here, this vehicle here, and you can just make it out, there's a vehicle there at checkpoint. Now, Violet Key spawns there. Uh, I was on Tarkov last night and I checked at time of filming, it was about five to nine million a pop. You got about one in twenty chance of it spawning, and then you kind of need to get there before everyone else. Now the fact they've expanded the map helps you massively here, but it's something you want to be aware of. Now, for me, I will, depending on where I spawn, and I do a lot of scav runs on here. My route is basically there. There's an assessment at this point, and then you either cut through here to. Um, that's like one of the cultist sites, and then out, and then you loop round to extract. Or, if everything's looking peachy, you want to check the vehicle through, and then back round. And that's a really, really high profit route. Medium risk, you know, you need to be quick. You want to get to these buildings before other people do, because that's where you're going to find the keycard. Um, but it's so worth doing, folks. On average, I was getting 200 to 300k per scavron, and every so often you get a high value item. Um, and then, as you say, I found three purple key cards last wipe on this, and uh, one netted me six, one netted me nine, and the other one netted me nine and a half million, just from scavrons. Very, very good. This is a little concrete hut. I'll put a picture of it up now. And you want to be looking on the desk for the keycard. It can sometimes be a little bit tricky to see because of the lamp, but that's where you want to be looking. The vehicle here 
you're looking in the boot on the right hand side put a picture up now and it's pretty exposed so that's why I say when you get to this point here you want to be assessing whether you cut through or you take the slightly safer route back out cultist site there's always stuff in the cultist circle and the coat by the tree always worth a look and then checkpoint here you open the side door of the car and it's either on the chair or on the foot well um, I've never seen it there if I'm honest I've only seen it in the car here and on the desk there but it's well worth a look there's also a med bag in the boot and then you're on your way out brilliant uh, route make you lots of money you have also got a number of filing cabinets in here and in this building here so have a look through there and then there you go that's the level but be aware Sturman lives in here and he will kill you dead given a chance so this is the new map so you can kind of see the mountain stash as your reference point and we have the old sawmill village ruble extract the abandoned partially sunken town where cultists, cultists like to live scav bunker um, and then you've got the USEC camp and a few other little things around there now you'll notice there's not a lot in here especially this middle area here uh, you've got the sunken town but it's a lot of open space now when you start the game and if you're not familiar with the map if you don't have a compass you're going to get lost around here quite a lot I did um, yeah we just gloss over that but this map and I'll put a link to this map below in the information shows you what you're looking for you can see the mountain and that's how you orientate um, so for me as a rat you just want to be living here village depends which side of the map you spawn on obviously but there is so much loot in here honestly folks specifically I want to point out this building here in that compound because I have found a GPU on the floor in the kitchen next to the cardboard box picture up now GPU in a house on the floor it's a world spawn you want to be looking there and then the other really nice thing about that is you've got an extract right at the top here so you mooch around there there's plenty of buildings, plenty of loot. And then if you want, you can go straight out to extract. I tend to do both of these, depending on if you know if I'm on this side of the map and I'll hop in between the two. Uh, works really well. And again, I'm making upwards of three, four hundred K a run doing this. Now, if you start on the other side of the map, the western side of the map, you have the USEC camp, which is worth a look. But beware, there are mines all around this, okay? All around here are mines. Now, the minefields are slightly different. There aren't physical mines you can step on. It's just a chance of explosion in an area. So you can't, like, send your teammates through first to clear the map and then walk through quite happily. Um your only route into this area that is safe is from the road which you know kind of makes sense so orientate yourself on the power lines get up and straight in quite a lot of reasonable loot in there same with this section just follow it across um, i don't think there's mines on this side but i can't confirm scav bunker if you're bored go have a look i've not found any major loot there but you know there's a couple of weapons boxes if you're trying to fill up your backpack it's worth a go uh, and if I'm honest the scav bridge, bridge extract I've never used but as a scav you know give it a pop now in the middle we've got abandoned town um, I'm yet to find any really good loot in there and the main thing is cultists live here at night a lot one of the places they live they also live on top of the mountain and further down obviously by the cultist site be careful um, they hide in bushes they whisper at you and they attack as a pack and they'll just charge at you it's a little bit scary but I'm sure you'll be fine 
Um, and that's the top of the map. Really, really good fun. Absolutely love it. One final thing to point out, though, is you've got little gullies around here. So if you are approaching village, and again, it's such a high value area, lots of people go there. So if you're playing rat, slow and steady, okay? I tend to favor this side of the village and come in from here, okay? Um, if you're coming down from the top, you've got a nice bit of overwatch down the street, but otherwise, come through and check in. Because if anything happens, you can bug back out into the gullies, relocate and flank very, very quickly. It works really well. Similarly, on this side, it's like a hill down to the water. So if you get into trouble, you can pop out, run around quickly, and then get the flank. Definitely worth doing. Um, but just be careful, all right? Lots of scavs spawn there, and lots of PMCs go there, and player scavs. The main advantage is the way the sound works in Tarkov. You can hear people walking in a wooden house from halfway across the map, wear contacts. And that's the top. The last area I want to briefly talk about is this side of the map. Now, you remember I was kind of drawing the map before and it kind of looked a bit like that. And then it kind of went a bit like that. Um, this is the old map, this is the new map. So that's just said B14, don't worry about that, that's not a building there. Now, there's not a huge amount they've added here, okay? Uh, there are one or two little booby traps but the main thing is there's a lot of mines down here I should also say there are some mines here as well um, and it can make life a little bit tricky because this you know the standard way of getting through is you do whatever you're doing around here and you'd either loop all the way around to extract and get out or if you're coming through you kind of go around like that the problem we have now is the car is parked, used to be right at the edge of the map where the wall was. Now it's not. And they've also changed the bushes slightly as well. So if you're coming in through this area, uh, area, it's very easy to miss that really small car there and walk into the minefield. All right? So you want to be doing more of a sweeping run rather than just heading straight because the wall's not there anymore and the mines will blow your legs off and it will ruin your day. And that's it. That's a quick rat's guide to woods. Um, we're going to be doing a few more of these videos, working our way through them because um, I've noticed I've got a lot of safe routes that I tend to use which get me a lot of kills and a lot of loot and when I squad up people and play they don't seem to know them which is slightly weird to me but I'm going to pass that knowledge on to you guys. So as ever, if you like the video, like and subscribe below so you get notifications on the next one. And I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Wasn't so bad.